Hey, everybody, this is Troy Alexander. Thank you so much for joining us again. This is Inspiration with Troy Alexander. I'm excited tonight. We have a wonderful panel. And I'm telling you, you're going to be inspired, encouraged, uplifted. Um, they are amazing. But I got a few things that I got to do before I get to our amazing panel tonight. Listen, every week I tell you that our mission is to encourage you, what, to dream, take that step, and walk with purpose into your destiny. This is what we're all about here, to encourage you, to uplift you, to let you know that dreams do come true. I'm telling you, it's not over. Whatever situation that you're dealing with, right, I'm here to let you know that it is not over. It's just the beginning of something greater that's about to take place in your life. I got a few more things that I got to share with you today. Listen, we are excited. You can watch this, again, live on Facebook, on YouTube Live, Hamilton Radio. You can download the app, Hamilton Radio 3.0. Channel 2, Hamilton Radio 3.0, Channel 2. And also, you can call in tonight. If you have a question for myself or a wonderful panel, listen, dial 609-807-2492. That is 609-807-2492. I got a couple things. Listen, I shared with you on last week and week before last, we have a scholarship fund, Inspiration with Troy Alexander Radio Scholarship Fund. We help our young people to start their business, to take that class, to take that step, whatever. And we are here to help. So listen, if you want to support our scholarship fund, which has already been a blessing to, to several young people, which I'm excited to say, you can give us a donation, nonprofit, tax uh, deductible, at www.paypal.me backslash call to inspire. www.paypal.me backslash call to inspire. If you don't want to go the uh, nonprofit route, you can cash at me <laughs> at dollar sign M Troy Alexander. Dollar sign M Troy Alexander. We are here. Listen, on last couple of weeks, I need you to follow uh, www.listentoyourheart.info. That is Shanice Chere has an amazing uh, program for young people, both young men and young ladies. It's amazing. www.listentoyourheart.info. And of course. Our Zuzu's Lip Balm. Listen, I'm telling you, they are getting some representative to help sell their product. It's amazing. Young ladies call the Girl Boss Program. Follow Zuzu's Lip Balm.com. I'm telling you, it's amazing, and we are excited. Keep in touch with us. Listen, email me at IamInspiredTroy at gmail.com. Email. Listen, I said before that you can come on the show and watch the show live, sit in the audience, and watch the show live. Afterwards, talk to me, talk to our guests, talk to our amazing producer owner, Ruben, over there. Hey, Ruben, how you doing? There you go. See, listen, you can be here on the show, and I'm telling you, it's an amazing experience. Take advantage of this opportunity. Email me at IamInspiredTroy at gmail.com. Follow us on its on our website, calltoinspire.org. That's calltoinspire.org. And, of course, our Instagram, Pick by Design. If you need a photographer, here I am, but Pick by Design. And I got a few more things that I got to share with you before we introduce our wonderful guests. And uh, again, watch us live on Facebook and YouTube as well. Listen, if you want to advertise on the show, email me. I am inspired, Troy, at gmail.com. You can advertise on our show, advertise on the radio, Hamilton Radio. This is what it's all about. I got one point of purpose. Y'all know every week we do points of purpose and we do I am declarations. I got two things. And so in the next two minutes, I'm going to introduce our guests. Point of purpose for this week. Listen, movement is a setup for your position to change. I'm going to say that again. Movement is a, is a setup for your position to change. You got to move from where you are. Something's got to take place. If you want your position to change, your, your, your place to change, start moving. It's about getting up from where you are. Like I told my guests, I told, listen, everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere. Amen. I'm telling you, every sentence begins with a letter. I'm telling you, everybody didn't just get there. But everybody began somewhere, and I'm encouraging you tonight, begin to move. You may not have what you think you have. Listen, I didn't have a degree in the radio. I didn't go to school for this. But look now, I got my own show. I'm telling you, things can happen. Dreams can take place. But you got to start moving with expectation. Before I came on the show, I said I'm going to leave here having my own show. I'm encouraging you tonight. Listen, dreams do come true, but you got to move. And we're going to talk with our amazing guests tonight because they are moving in their passion, in their destiny, in their purpose. And I'm excited tonight. I got one last thing that I got to share with you. Listen, uh, I told y'all before that I'm looking to have a building. This is our I Am Declaration. Okay. We got a, and, 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 and every guest we say, listen, what are we declaring today? Might not have it right now, but I'm declaring it. Mm -hmm. it 
I counted to be so. And I said, I'm having a building. I, said, I, I met with somebody over the weekend about a building, and I, I'm claiming something. So it's going to be there or somewhere else. But I know the building that I'm looking for is going to take place. Why? Because it's already done. All you got to do is move it. I said before, the door is already open, but you got to go knock on it so you can get through it. But the door is already there. So I'm excited tonight. So I'm encouraging you. If you want to call in to the show, listen, call 609-807-2492 if you want to ask myself a question or our wonderful guest. But listen, right now I'm going to introduce this wonderful panel. I, I was so excited that they were willing to come on our show. I, you know, I've been blessed to know some amazing people in my life. And these gentlemen right here are truly amazing. They are actors. They are directors, producers, <laughs> writers, everything. I mean, they, they are just amazing gentlemen. And I'm going to introduce them right now to my left. Uh, I'm going to introduce Mr. Joe McCray. So uh, give, give us a McCray a hand. Yep. Thank you. Listen, he is, uh, he is a writer. He's written plays. He wrote his first play in 1998. And we're going to talk about all of his plays. According to my calculation, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, you've written nine plays, about approximately about nine yes. plays since, since uh, 1998. And it's amazing. Not only is, has he done written plays, but he's acted in his plays, and he's directed his plays. Um, but not only that, but he's produced skits and instructed workshops for children in our local neighborhoods. Um, he's worked to support nonprofits as well. Um, he's done acting, he's done commercials, uh, TV shows, um, he's done plays such as Hamlet and The Wiz. I'm talking about, listen, I'm sitting next to some great people right here. I'm telling you, it's amazing what he's done. And no matter, this is, this is one of his platforms, no matter how difficult life becomes, with God all things are possible. Amen. And we're going to talk about it. So we welcome you, Joe. Thank you so much. To my right, we have Mr. Deshaun J. Gandy. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Deshaun, he's an actor, director, uh, playwright. Um, I'm telling you, he's co-written co uh, a play with uh, Jean John Claude, John Claude Nazir, mm -hmm. which was the official selection to the DC Black Theater Festival. His latest play, An American Tree, has been nominated for a NJ Act. Is that right? Yes, sir. Perry Award for Best Original Play. Let's give it up for that. I'm telling you, amazing, awesome talent we're here. And we have so much more that he has done. He has appeared in several off-Broadway plays, including African Women's Repertory Repet Repet Theater. Repertory Theater Company. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's amazing in New York as well. Um, he's an ordained minister, serves as pastor of the Love and Truth Ministries. Now, listen, I'm telling you, you are a busy man. <laughs> But thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. And to our right of the song, we have Ricardo Richard. Yeah. Welcome, Ricardo. Thank you. thank you so much. Listen, I, 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 saw, I saw this young man on another show, and it was important that we have him on our show. And he has done, and he's going to correct me, but he's done a YouTube television series yeah. of, of eight episodes talking about hurt people, hurt people, yeah. talking about bitterness and brokenness, and we're going to get into his amazing, but one thing amazing about this young man, that was his first endeavor, mm -hmm. his first endeavor into that field, and we're going to talk more about that, so can we welcome all of our guests, please? <laughs> Ruben, how are we doing? Are we tagged on our Facebook? <laughs> so, so we are excited tonight about all of, the, uh, all, all of our amazing guests, and I'm telling you right now, it's going to be an amazing show. My first question to a our panel, and, I, and I'm telling you, you're going to be inspired. I need to understand, what was it? Was there a moment in time that inspired you to begin this journey? Because I'm telling you right now, you've done nine plays. I mean, you, you have plays that are, are being awarded, nominated for amazing awards. And Ricardo, you, you, an amazing journey that you're going to share. Was there a moment in time? I'm sorry, with you, Joe. Was there a moment that inspired you to to go to take this journey? Um, Dickens, I will say that um, I didn't find writing, it found me. Wow. Because wow. Um, I was an actor and I was um, doing auditions in New York City. And there was one particular audition that I went on. It was a go see. Mm -hmm. It was for a voiceover, I'm sorry. And in the voiceover, they had wanted me to do some cursing. Mm -hmm. And I explained to them that I couldn't curse because of my religion and my background. Mm -hmm. 
and they um, were telling me like this is a great opportunity for me and that um, it can open doors for me. Right, and being right. in my early 20s, I'm like, okay, this could be it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I may not get this opportunity again. Right, right. And I pondered with it and she looked at me and said, don't worry, God will understand. Wow. And at that moment when she said, God would understand, like something pierced me in my heart. Mm. And I gave her that script and I said, thank you, but no thank you. Right. And I walked out the audition and I cried like a baby. Wow. And I'm telling just as clear as I'm speaking with you, I heard the voice of God said, Joe, why don't you write and produce where you have control over what you say and do. Wow. And my wow. first skit that I've written was Take Back What the Devil Stole, wow. which is now a play that I've written. Congre- listen, listen, we applaud you, Joe. That was all, listen, to, to walk away, from an opportunity, that's powerful, and I got to come back to that. <laughs> tell me, sir, what, what inspired you? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I can put my hand on just one thing. Um, I started writing really early. I um, was an English major at Rutgers. I, I just always loved to write. Um, and I remember when I used to work with Joe McRae, um, and he shared that story with me. Um, it resonated, and I remember uh, studying acting at uh, the Woody King Jr. Um, his uh, Federal Theater up in Manhattan, and one of my teachers has said to us, uh, you know, not, and she was a Christian, uh, a Tony Award winning actress, um, and a Christian and an African American woman, and she shared with us that being uh, a Christian and being an African American, there's going to be certain disadvantages that you're going to be confronted with, and as an African as an African American male. Um, specifically talking to me, it's like uh, you just need to create your own opportunities, wow. you know, and that, wow. and that echoed with what uh, Joe McRae had shared with me a few years earlier. Wow, you know, so just mm-hmm. creating your own opportunities. I love it. I love it. Listen, listen, listen. These these two young men have already said, create your own. Opp- I'm gonna have to use that one. <laughs> create your own because listen, it's about opportunity. But I said before, you're gonna get to a place where you don't have to wait for somebody to open your door. Create your own door. And bring somebody else with you. This is this is what this platform is all about, and what we're trying to do. Ricardo, um, tell me what, how, how, what, what? Because I know you shared some things with me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I would love to, for for the audience to, to hear what what inspired you. Um, what inspired me to do the series was um, some of our followers that follow our page. Some of them know, some may not know. For the new people, um, my best friend had died of sickle cell about three years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was a time in my life where I was just like questioning everything, just trying to figure out like what is it that I really wanted to do with my life. And I felt like acting is something I've always wanted to do, but I felt like I've always went like, it was like fear that kept me from really wanting to live my dream. Like, mm. am I good enough? Could I really do it? You know, I grew up in Trenton, you know, kind of hard, you know, and Hold on, I Ricardo. Really uh, uh, Ruby, can you tell me his mic? Because they can't hear him online. No, no, you can tell me the microphone. Thank you, sir. Again, sir. There we go. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Is better? Yes, sir. Okay. So I just basically knew that, um, yeah, like I said, it was the fear. And um, basically, to make a long story short, um, yeah, my best friend passed away. The day before he passed away, we weren't really speaking. So uh, it, it's something that I still kind of deal with because I feel like the relationship that we had, it was like, oh, I talked to him in a couple of days after, you know, mm-hmm. we calmed down and it was just like, I didn't get the opportunity. Right, right. So um, I kind of, I never really dealt with like depression, but I kind of felt like that's what it was going into. Mm-hmm. And um, I kind of felt like, I was just like, I don't, I didn't want to just like party my life away and just do things that I felt like I never did. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to just start writing. Because I felt like I had started it so long ago, and I kind of stopped, and then I just start picking it up, and I just wanted to talk about brotherhood. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, as I started writing, I just all these other characters started kind of speaking to wow, me, and wow. then I just started writing it. And the next thing you know, you got the series, and it's you know it's touching people. So I'm grateful. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Listen, thank you for that 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 story and that journey. I I, I need to understand from the panel, what is it that what is it that keeps you motivated? What is it that gives you the motivation to 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 do a play or to write a script? What 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 do you need to begin with? What is the one thing that you, if you had to say to somebody, listen, before you think about going into this field, whether it's writing or acting or directing, what is is there one characteristic 
Is there one, one thing that you could say, like, this is what you need to have? Or one or two things? I thought you said. For me, I think it's just simply living life um, and, and, and um, being able to see life and appreciate life, uh, you know, just from being married, from going to school, from going to church, from getting up, going to work, just experiencing life on a daily basis and, and, and being in contact with other human beings, wow. you know, that itself becomes the, the foundation for any and every story that awesome. I write. Awesome. You know? I love it. I love it, and 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 so and so when you, because because I'm gonna ask you what when you hit those difficult moments in life, because because you, mm -hmm. you know life got some hills oh, yes. and some valleys. Oh yes. So how do you, how do you maintain the 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 the, 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 the passion and the, and the excitement and the, the purpose of what you're doing through all of that? I think it's perspective because sometimes you feel as though uh, your troubles, trials, just difficulties in life. Uh, sometimes get in the way of your writing, mm -hmm. uh, but actually what it is is that it's creating fodder, mm -hmm. you know, for the writing. Wow. You know, wow. so it's it's just having your perspective to where you learn to appreciate the ups and the downs and understand that there's something out of everything that you can take to create a story that's going to be able to touch other people's lives. Because I think the thing that I like to have in my plays that resonate with other people is to just be as genuine and as human as possible. Wow. Life gives you life. Yes. That's what I took from what you, every experience in life should, should help to motivate you and empower you great. Listen, I didn't, I told y'all about my fear and, 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 and I'm not, cause I won't take up time. But listen, I used to allow fear to dictate my life and, and rule my life. But I say no more. So, but Joe, what, what is it that, it's, what, what would you say is a skill set or a mindset or how would, one or two things that is critical to have? In, in, in the purpose of what you're doing? Well, for me, it's my faith. Wow. Because without my faith, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I, I won't write unless God speak to me. Wow. Because I'm the vessel that he speak through, and then I write it on the paper. Because wow. even when I write, if I don't feel the presence of God, I stop writing, mm -hmm. and I walk away from it. Because I know there's a message that he's trying to get through me to deliver someone else. Awesome. And I'm never going to write anything to hurt someone. Mm -hmm. I'm only write to empower and to strengthen someone. Wow. Because I don't believe that's the kind of God that we serve to hurt people. Wow. We have enough of that out there already. Mm -hmm. So I want to write and empower someone to let know that awesome. you can do anything if you put God first in your life. I love it. And, 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 and when you get to those valley moments, how do, you, how do you press through all of that? It's my faith because I look back over my shoulder and see where he brought me from. Oh, right now. Because it's not where I'm at now that right. gets me through it. It's where he brought me from. Wow. Because it's what he brought me. Say, if I'd done it then, Joe, yeah. I can do it again. Come on now. So I can't look at the present, Joe, and say, okay, Joe, he's doing good now. Mm. But the thing that keeps me going is where I came from. Wow. When I went to the audition and he told me I needed the curse and I won't make it and, mm. and they, I proved them wrong and I'm got um, working on the film, yes. got shows yes. coming out, yes. and God has constantly opened up doors, because if you're faithful to God, he'll be faithful to you. I know that's right. I know that's right. Listen, we got to get, Ricardo, <laughs> listen, tell me, tell me, tell me, because that, that's awesome, and I, I want to glean from that so, 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 some more. So tell me, what is it, how, how do you, um, how do you continue? What, what would you share with someone that, that's a, something that, that is important to have? for you, from your experience in life, as Deshaun has talked about, what is it in your life that, that, that keeps you going? I think, uh, like I said, to go back to my friend, I think ultimately mm. it started off as just really like a goodbye letter to my best friend. Mm. And I kind of felt like to, to want it to keep going, I started to realize, like I said, the lives that it was touching. And I kind of felt like um, you need to be persistent. Like, mm. and you really, really gotta love it. Like, um, and, um, just continue to, I just believe to continue to work hard. And, you know, you had those moments, at least for me, that I'm just learning it, like, and learning the writing and to really get into it. Like, you have those moments of, like, writer's block, but to know that you're kind of being of service to other people and wow. you're helping people through their darkest moments mm -hmm. is, like, it's such a blessing. Like, awesome. I was just doing it because I was writing through the pain. I had no wow. idea that wow. 
you know, God was really going to allow me to touch different people. And mm -hmm. it's just like, it's really such a blessing. Like, I just, sometimes I just have moments where I'm like, thank you so much, God. Like, <laughs> yeah. because it's, it's truly like a dream come true. Like, although at times I'm, I'm like, you know, like I would want the monetary things like, yeah, I want a Netflix deal, but I just wanted to touch people. Wow. You get what I mean? And to realize that we all hurt, we all deal with things. And yes. it's like what you do with that hurt, you know? And you know you can learn from it it's like you said about perspective it's just all on how you look at it i feel like no matter what you go through it's always good that come out of a bad situation it's just what you choose to deal with it come on come on ladies, listen we gotta give a hand for our panel i'm telling you this is awesome advice here tonight i'm telling you if you want to call into the show i'm telling you it's right on your screen but let me get my paper it's 609-807-2492 609-807-2492. You can call in, ask this panel, a wonderful panel we have. Ask myself a question, ask them a question. Listen, I'm so inspired because what you said was right through the pain. That was powerful. We talk about life. We talk about faith and, and having that belief. And, I, and, and that is so awesome and amazing because it, it's everybody can learn from everybody. Like you said, like you said, just, I mean, it was, we said everybody can learn from everybody. And, and, and that's so powerful. What I wanted to ask, and you kind of said it, but let me just touch on it. Let me ask it again. What, what do you get from the work that you do, whether it's writing or acting or, 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 or directing? What, what is it that you gain from it? Because, because you have to gain something from every experience because you wouldn't do it if you didn't feel like you were gaining something. What, what is it that you gain from, from, from the work that you do? I'll start with Carter. I think I just feel like alive. I feel like, mm, I just feel like somewhat full. You mm. know how like you going to church and you, you know, or you praying and you just trying to build your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. It's like, it kind of feels almost like it's ordained. Like it's like a part of you, mm. like a limb, you know? So I kind of feel like I'm walking in like my purpose. You wow. know what I mean? And, yes, and, yes, um, yes. You know, it's like when you grow up or whatever, you're just, you know, you're a human being. You're just trying to figure out, like, what do I, you know, what I like to do. And what I what I love and I would urge everybody that's out there that's younger to go to college because I remember going to school and I was going to school for, like, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was doing social science. And I remember my, I was about to graduate and I had, like, three classes, but I chose to do an elective with drama. Mm. And I was like, I'm going to do it with the wow. drama course. And it wasn't a part of my curriculum. Right, right, So right. I went there and I had met my friend that I went to junior high school. We reconnected. And she literally, like, she just inspired me and she just was like speaking life into me and mm. she was just like one of the, the act i mean one of the, the professors was like i want everybody to write a scene and i'm like okay i could do it i wrote it like right before class <laughs> and everybody liked it and i was like she was like won't you write and i'm like i never thought about it and next thing you know i had wrote a play called misery loves company years ago i never did anything with it wow but um i was like oh i could write like i didn't even know like wow. but had i never you know, went to the drama course, you know, the class, and, right. you know, went to college, I would have never even known that I had that gift. So it's just about sometimes discovering gifts and discovering who you are. And I feel like when you're walking in your purpose, you know, you're de rediscovering and redefining who you are. And I love what you said about, about the ability that you just did it. You know, you know why don't you write? Okay, well, I never thought. Yeah. Let, <laughs> let me take, listen, it's all about taking that step. This is what this show is, is, is to encourage everybody, listen, you may, listen, I never had a radio show. Never did radio. But now I got a show. It's about taking that step and believing that something great has got to take place. Just how, how, what is it, what is it that, again, that, that, that just, you know, it keeps you, it, it sustains you, it motivates you. It's, what is it, tell me, because, because, <laughs> what do you get from it? What I get from it, there's such a myriad of, of, of things that I get from it. Um, fulfillment, accomplishment, mm. a high, mm. um, the impetus to, 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 you know, the drive to just go further, to do more. Um, just, there's just so much you, for me, yeah. you know, that I get from it. And, and I'm sure, as with everyone here on this panel, including yourself, um, when you're doing something that you're passionate about, yes, yes, what you get from it sometimes is indescribable. It you is. know, so it's whether I'm, and, and there's a different, there's a different feeling that I get from um, writing a piece and seeing it performed, uh, versus directing a piece, mm -hmm. versus being on stage and acting myself. Wow, wow. You know, I, I think each three of those 
you know, they all have their own sense of fulfillment. Mm. You know? Wow. But, but I love it. Love it. Awesome. I love it. Awesome. Uh, Joe? Well, to me, it's an extension of my ministry. Wow. Because I grew up Pentecostal, and you know everything's a sin. So they told me for years that my gift was a sin. Wow. But I questioned, I said, why would God give me a gift that was a sin? Wow. Because everything good and perfect come from above. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that everyone won't go to someone church. So when I do a play, that's someone church that won't go to someone church mm. that can lead them to salvation. Wow. So I get gratification that I brought another soul to Christ wow. from what I do. Awesome. From awesome. the gift that they said was a sin. All right. <laughs> listen, everybody, listen, I'm telling you right now. If you want to call in, 609-807-2492, Hamilton Radio. You can download the app, Hamilton Radio 3.0, Channel 2. Every Monday night, we're here 8 to 9 to encourage, uplift, and inspire you to dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. i got to ask my panel this. Listen, um, i got to understand how, how, when we talk about directing and writing and acting, how, how long did it take you? Like, like, like I mean, from, from, from concept to actual play production, yes. Um, um, what's the process? Are, are we talking days? Are we talking weeks? Like, can you write a script in a day or two, or we say months? What's the process? I'm gonna start with you. So, for me, and it may average, be different average, for average. everybody, but yeah. I think for, for me, it's 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 a process. Like, I believe in the process mm -hmm. that um, that writing demands. Um, I allow myself to be in the company of professionals uh, just to learn mm. and to appreciate the process. Um, you know, rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. The last play I did, uh, I think I did 14 rewrites before, wow, it, before wow. it actually came to stage. Right, right. And, you know, just putting it constantly through the uh, process of, of table readings, stage readings, um, you know, workshopping it, um, taking it to writing classes and things of that wow. nature. You, and you're always going to find something in it yeah. that you just didn't see before and wow. to pull out. So I'm of the of the mindset that I want to give my piece the best opportunity it can mm. to become what it needs to be wow. rather than rushing it to the stage for whatever purpose. I love know? that. So I'm never in a rush. Love you it. Know? Sometimes, I, I, and although I'm never in a rush to meet a deadline, Sometimes the only rush that I have is that I can't sleep because right. because the story is right. so so much dominating my mind yes. that I'm compelled to get up and write. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Listen, I, what I love about what he's listen, he allows the message and the words to to time to grow. You allow it to grow, and 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 what I love what he said was he said he, on, on on that one point he did 14 rewrites. That means that the ability to adjust, to change, and I've always encouraged people, listen, be, be willing to adjust to your environment, your situation, and what you're doing. And I'm telling you, it's, it's a process. It's a journey. So how, how long have we t is, is there a set time that you write or that you put up from, from concept to, to, is there an average time? I can't say that there is an average time because with my first play, I wrote it in two days. Wow. And then there's been plays I've written in three months. Then there was plays I started and I walked away and came back wow. a year later. Wow. Because as of today, I've, as many plays I've written, produced, and direct, I still said I'm not a writer. Wow. So if God don't speak to me, mm. I don't write. Right. So when he speaks, I write. Okay. And whenever he said to do it, I do it. Wow. And that's how I know what I do is from God because of the results. Because there was one play that I did. Um, it was my risk. Risky play, I would call it. Was called. Um, <laughs> Is that risky? It was called gossip. <laughs> okay. And it took place in the booty shop and the barber shop. Uh -huh. And you know the language that take place. Right. Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. There. Uh -huh. And but at the end, we did something called Black Lives Matter. We mm -hmm. came up with the pictures and we mm -hmm. said with blah blah blah. And there was one lady and young lady in the play that she had a, a person that was missing. Mm -hmm. And people gave me a whole bunch of crap about this play. That ain't of God. Mm -hmm. Even the cast members, that mm -hmm. ain't of God. Mm -hmm. But there was a young lady that was missing wow. for like three months. She came there and held up the person picture mm. and said, I'm missing. Help find me. Wow. We did a play that Saturday night, Monday morning. That person turned himself in. Wow. And they found that person body. And wow. the family got closure. Wow. 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 Powerful wow. impact. Yeah. The so impact that you have. You have to write when God say write. Right. Because mm -hmm. if you're struggling with the gift, mm -hmm. you can imagine what the people outside is looking at because they right. like it's not of God. But if you right. know that God gave you something, wow. I don't care what the church says about it. I don't care how risky it may be. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why God had given it to you. Wow. And that's I, I'm a firm believer of that. Powerful. Powerful. Ricardo? 
Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> what again? Again, we talk about the. You know, how does it? How long is the process? Oh, the, the journey. Process. Like, 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 like. How your first series? How 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 long was that? Let me just say this, everybody. I saw a post on September 30th that the first episode got over 5,000 views. Yeah. So, so we want to give you a hand on that. 5,000 views per episode. So what is, how, how long is your process, or is there a general length of time? I think, like, I kind of piggyback off what they were saying. It varies because um, the first, t you know, the first season, I think it took, like, three months maybe. But then the second one I had started – well, we currently starting to film season two. So when I started writing season two, we were still filming season one. So I was just like, all right, I'm going to try to get this done in three months. Mm -hmm. But what I realized is, like, I'm in the process of writing the, the third season. I'm still going back to the season two while we're still in it, and I'm still making changes wow. because I wanted to be right. You mm -hmm. get what I mean? So right. the process, it, 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 it definitely varies, you know. And, and when you want it to be the best, it can be sometimes mm -hmm. it takes time you wow. know and you shouldn't rush it and the writing is, is, is a different process from actually putting it together and putting the cast together and editing it and all of that so it's it's a long process so i think all together it took us maybe i don't know a, a year maybe year and a half maybe it wow. took us eight months to shoot it but we had to rehearse and you know remember right, our right, lines right, and right. find locations all that so maybe wow. like a year and a half probably Listen, I, I listen. I, I applaud all of you all. You have done amazing, and I'm telling you, I've seen your work, and I'm telling you, it's amazing. I mean, you. your work is is truly amazing. It's powerful. It has a message, and um, what I want to ask you all is about sacrifice, because I because every guest that I've had on that have achieved any kind of plateau in life, even to this day, even for myself. It's been a sacrifice. Talk to me about sacrifice, because sometimes people watching again on Facebook Live and YouTube Live, and they're going to be able to watch this back on YouTube years and months down the road. Um, what would you say about sacrifice? What, what have you had to sacrifice, and what would you say about that as part of your journey? And if, you, if you've been blessed to not have to potentially sacrifice a whole lot of much, you know, but, but for somebody who, who wants to achieve a certain plateau, what type of commitment, what type of sacrifice that you have to make that you, that you can share with them to say you know what this is what i had to go through not that they have to go through it but to understand that it may be a part of their journey so i'm start with joe there's a lot of sacrifices um financially there's sacrifices mm. because you can't expect someone to sow into your ministry when you don't want to do it mm. so there's been times that i have taken money away from my mortgage car payment wow. to wow. do a show that I didn't know what was going to be the outcome, mm. but God always prevailed and made a way. Wow. Um, being away from the family, mm. but thank God that my family understand and they support right. what I do. Yes, they do. Um, yes, they even do. the church sometimes you miss certain things, but there's a certain sacrifice you have to make mm. because you have to look at the bigger picture. Mm. You know, to, to dad maybe just missing church for a service or missing this, but at, at the end God has a bigger picture. Right, right, right. And so you, there's a lot, of, but you right. have to be willing to take that sacrifice and, and what is what is worth to you. Powerful, powerful. So, um, one of the sacrifices in particular uh, is just allowing my work to be criticized. Wow. You know, to being yeah. to being vulnerable as a playwright, vulnerable as an actor, vulnerable as a director, vulnerable as a producer, um, and, and just allowing the process because the process always um, calls for vulnerability, and you have to allow your work to be criticized. Mm. You know, and just and that took some. You know, I took some adjustment. Right, right, you know, right, right. Your work is your baby. Yes, you yes. Protect yes, it. Yes, you live yes. it. And but you know, just just allowing it to be criticized um, and constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. putting yourself around the right people right. who are going to criticize it with purpose. Mm -hmm. Purpose of of seeing your work uh, become what they believe. You know, I think one of the questions that I like to share with my fellow playwrights as um, as we come together and we and we table read and we you know we do round tables mm -hmm. on work is. Um, is this the best you can tell this story? Wow. You know, wow. It's, it's a great story. Right. I love it, but is this the best you can tell it? Mm. Um, my acting teacher, um, Jerry Kellner, he, with the last play, um, An American Tree. Awesome. He awesome. pushed me on that play. He awesome. pushed me. Is this, he's, I love the play. Yes. It's like, but well, is this the best wow. that you can tell this story? 
and it just kept pushing me and kept pushing me and kept mm. pushing me you know so it is, so it's just allowing your work to be um criticized mm. you know right. for the betterment of it awesome powerful um i feel like you sacrifice a lot like you said you sacrifice financially i know for me like I said, I didn't go to school for writing or acting or anything like that. So it was completely new. Like, I didn't have any ties to the industry. I just had a dream, and I was just like, I'm going to do it. You get what I mean? So you sacrifice financially. You sacrifice uh, sleep. Sometimes, you, you know, <laughs> your peace at times. You get what yes. I'm saying? Um, definitely, you know, sometimes family. Um, but it's just it's so rewarding, you know, in the end. And so the sacrifice is worth it. Yes, yes, yes. There's value in sacrifice. And I love, you know, I love the fact that, that you talked about your family and having the support of them. And what I, what I love about you, that's how you talked about, again, you know, having your work criticized and, and, and talked about. You put so much hours and time into it. And, but what I love about it is that all of you have shared about purpose and, and all of you have shared about calling. And, and, and a feeling like there's something that is driving you and keeping you. I need to understand what is it, is is there is there people that inspires you? What what inspires you to to continue through? Is there a person that that encourages you? You talked about how you get with your other uh, playwrights, your other individuals, and and how you share mm -hmm. and different things. But in those moments where you kind of feel like uncertain or you're not quite sure of this. Is the way or, or how it should be? Is is there a support network around you? And if so, who is that? that was, sorry, Ricardo. Um, uh, I, um, I don't I don't feel like I have like I'm not gonna say I don't have people to support me, but right. as far as inspiration, I just I just feel like I just really want it. You get wow. what I mean? Right. And, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. When you want something, you just willing to do whatever you can to make it happen. And I get discouraged a lot because sometimes I look at it, some of the other series that's out there on YouTube and I'm just like, why are my numbers higher? Why, you know, but I do understand I'm just starting out. It's like, if I'm like a newborn into this yeah. thing or whatever. So, um, and I realized that I don't know what sacrifices other people have made to get to where they are. So what I have to learn is to jo just enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, you know, not, I have a tendency to ch try to rush everything, rush success. Like, I want to be here. I want to be like Tyler Perry. I want to be. And it's like, I don't know what this man, you know, that went through to get to where he had right. to go. So right. I just have to just learn how to um, enjoy the process and enjoy the journey. Um, yeah. Definitely. And like you said, you you didn't go to school for this. Mm -mm. So so you didn't go to school for writing and acting or mm -mm. Direct none of that? None of it. Wow. It's just something I just wanted to do. And I was just like, let's just go for it. Wow. Wow! I wow! Just, yeah, Deshaun, is 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 there is there a person? Is there an environment? Something that just continues to inspire you? First and foremost, you know, it's my relationship with the Lord. Yes. Um, and and my wife, you know, my, my wife Dawn Monique, uh, she's my first tier of that level of support. Yes, yes, yes. If you don't have it, if you don't have it there, right, 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 you right. know, it, it gets kind of choppy everywhere else. <laughs> yes. You know, but once it's, it's cool there, you know, then you have your family. Um, like I said before, I, I just like to put myself, um, I remember searching for, um, searching for a playwright group, mm. you know, just, just a group of people who were experienced in playwriting who I could learn from. Wow. I, I never want to be in a position where I'm the smartest person in the room. Mm. I never want to be in a position where I'm the most experienced person in the room wow. because I always want to put myself in a position to learn from others. Yes, uh, yes, yes. And, and, and so I, I, my support group is just being around other people who That's are right. in the industry, um, who are like-minded and who are passionate about their work and who appreciate the process. I love it. Appreciate the process. Joe? My greatest inspiration is my children because I can't tell them they could do something then I give up on something. Mm -hmm. So I have to live by example. Wow. And I think that's what pushes me to say you can't give up mm -hmm. because if I give up, I'm giving up on them. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, everybody, I'm telling you right now, this is an amazing panel. I'm honored that they're here tonight. And if you want to call in, 609-807-2492. And I'm honored that they are here tonight. Um, I need to understand. I, I got a couple more questions that I need to ask you all. And again, you have done so many, accomplished so many things, so many achievements um, in life. Is there, is there a dream? Is there a vision? Is there a goal? 
that, that you aspire to, that you haven't reached yet, that you desire to aspire to. And again, because all of us, because one thing I keep telling everybody, listen, wherever you are, continue to grow, continue to learn, continue to, to never get satisfied mm -hmm. where you are. Be thankful for where you are, mm -hmm. grateful, appreciate, but always know there's always something more that, that, that you can acquire, that you can attain, that you can, lives that you can impact. So is there a, a, a dream, a, a vision, a, some place, some plateau that you aspire to reach or that you would plan to reach one day? So I'll, I'll, I'll start with Joe. Well, I had a, a dream that I wanted to do a film. Well, well, not you have you still have it? I, I have it because I'm about to do it now. Come on, bro. So, talk about that's so, talking about. That's right. So that's God right. made a way that yes. I can do my very first film. Love it. And not only Love that, it. I'm looking at a warehouse where I can have my own production. That's what I'm talking about. Building. At, and bring all my shows, my web series, and everything from that one location. Love it. Love so, it. It was a dream, but now it's a reality. I know that's <laughs> right. I know that's right. He said it was a dream, but now listen, Ruby. I'm telling you, this is what this is all, this show is about. Turning dreams into realities. Take it and, and, and about I am I am declaring something that's not that it is so, as though it what that it already is. And 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 it's the uh, uh, discern, is there a vision a, 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 a plateau that you desire to reach? Not that's going to be it, but right, I mean, is right. there something else that you? Well, there's several, but I, I think yeah. one for me um, that I want to speak upon tonight is just I would love for my work to outlive me. Wow. Um, I, wow. I, yeah. I I look at. The, the great playwrights and writers like Mamet and August Wilson and Tennessee Williams and, 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 and Shakespeare yeah. and how their work outlives them, wow. you know, and, and, and understanding that it's because of, of the integrity and the genuineness mm. and the purity that's in the work. Wow. So those are the things that I seek for when I write is that I, I'm looking for, you know, to be genuine, to be as, as truthful mm. and, as, and as purposeful as possible mm. uh, so that when I'm long and gone, you know, gone and, and passed away that my work lives on. You know, I would love for people to still want to produce my plays, mm -hmm. you know, still want to buy my scripts. They will. And, and theater companies talk about it. They will. You know, as classics. Yes. You know, so my, you know, one of my dreams is, is that, you know, I would love for my work to be considered classic pieces. In they theater. are. Listen, I'm, I'm listen, from, from, from somebody who loves artistry, I don't, I don't, Claim to be a playwright, uh, actor, director, none of all of that. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I know what I see. And I'm telling you, the, your, your, that, that play, An American Tree, and, and I'm telling you, I, I went home talking about it because it was the, the, the quality. Are you talking about Shakespeare? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. It's, it's going to live on. So I applaud you. I, you you're you. doing a, a wonderful work, Joe. And we're going to talk about some, some upcoming work that you're doing, Joe, as well and so far. Ricardo? Um, like I was saying before, like, of course, the monetary things. Like, I would like, you know, a deal, a Netflix deal, or something like that. Yes. But I think... On you a, should have it. Yes, I would love it. <laughs> but I think ultimately, like I was saying, just about inspiring, especially, like I said, growing up in Trenton. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just grew up, and I never really seen anybody kind of, like, mm. want to... You know, most, most people, you know, growing up, you want to be a basketball player, you want to be a right, rapper. Right, 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 right. But I never really seen anybody in my community like, okay, you know, do something like this. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, even I have my godchildren in the web series, and both of them, you know, have kind of, one of my godsons lost their father. Um, he was murdered, and then the other one just was never there. So mm -hmm. I just try to, you know, like he said before about being that example. Um, and I just had a talk with them, you know, be on my way over here and um, just about being that example and showing them and um, and giving other people from my community opportunities. And um, some of the people that's in the series never acted before. You get what I mean? So it's just about opening up doors while I'm, I'm trying to open up an opportunity for me. I'm giving right. other people right. fresh new faces. Mm -hmm. um, and I really just want God to be proud of me. You wow. get what I mean? Because wow. I kind of got a little bit of flack or whatever um, from, like, a church or whatever um, because you're if you watch the series, you're dealing with certain people that they're dealing with church hurt. Mm. So you have one girl who had um, had a stillborn baby, so she's, like, mad at God. It's like, she hates God. So you have people where you – I have um, – one of my closest friends, he's um, a deacon, um, but he plays a um, pastor in the series. Mm -hmm. And basically, his son or whatever, I, f 
I don't know, relationships are complex, especially between father and son and mother and daughter. So basically, it's a time um, where if you watch the series, he's really, really hard on his son. Mm. And he's just like, you need to do this and you need to live right. And you need to do this. And he's not really showing that love and compassion that he should. So I have gotten flack, like, you know, as far as like, just like I'm making the church look bad. You get what I mean? And then I've met with this other lady, with this other pastor's beautiful lady. Um, her name is Lisa Granville, I believe. And she was just like, this is life. This is real life. Mm -hmm. Like, this yeah. happens. You get right, what I'm saying? Right. And God, I really feel like God do know my heart. And I would never try to make the church look bad. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I just know that people are dealing with life and people really, really are hurting out wow. here. Yeah. And you yeah. do have people, you know, and it's sad or whatever, like, um, that looks down on people that, you know, might be wherever they are in their walk or their sinnings. Like, I feel like it's not what you say, but how you say it, and it's how you live your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like even with the character, if if with him, it's just you're, you're doing all of this in church, but you're not even learning how to be or show love to your own son, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's first. Like, wow. you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's about showing that love instead of just talking and, like, just being that example. And I know for me, I'm convicted, like, even with that, just letting me, just letting my light shine more than always just, because I feel like in, in ways I was like that as well, just, just being judgmental and just not showing mm -hmm. that love of God and love of Christ. Wow. And so... I'm, you know, talking about myself at times or where I was, you know, in my walk. So I know I have a long way to go. And I realized, I realized that's what's going to save people, the your, your love, you know? Powerful, you know? powerful. So Thank that's you. what we need to see more in the church. Thank you so much for sharing. Listen, I, I want to make sure. So make sure you get your social media. I'm going I'm to ask you how people can follow you. And I want to ask you if there's anything else that's upcoming that you're working on. But the other thing I want to ask you, does, does anybody do this full time? Does anybody here play right, direct, act, full time? Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm not yet. Next year. <laughs> no, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> listen, listen. They got uh, uh, other jobs they do right now. But but what I love is there's an expectation. They'll there's get a, there. There's a movement yes. in a direction because every door. Listen, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, you got to watch this show every week. We have an inspiring guests that's here, and I'm excited. So I'm going to ask him the social media because I want to make sure we give time for that. So make sure. So I'm going to start with Deshaun. So how can people follow you? You have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. How can people follow you? Because yours is Behind the Veil mm -hmm. Production. production. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love so it. I have a Behind the Veil Production on Facebook. Um, you can follow me there. You know, I do um, updates on, on when I'm doing shows, whether I'm acting, directing, or, or um, producing uh, plays. And um, then just to Sean, Jay Gandy on Facebook. Um, and I think to Sean JG, maybe, on, um, <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> if you need him, co contact me. I'll put you in touch with him. I'm telling you, a phenomenal young man, a phenomenal and very gifted, very talented and I'm telling you, all, all, all of our guests, I believe that they're willing to help and share their advice. Yes. Again, if you need, I'm telling you, they're amazing. Joe, what, what, how, how can people follow you? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, before I get you, Joe, anything upcoming? Any, anything that's upcoming now? I am in a new play, that's, uh, a play that um, okay. opened up, um, I believe, a, a few months ago, and it's coming out again. Um, November 17th is going to be in Newark. It's written by a friend of mine, uh, Pastor Marlon Wilson, awesome. and the play is called 1968. Wow. And uh, I, I'm acting in this one. I'm not directing. I'm not producing. Awesome. But this is an amazing story. And he's one of my friends who's a fellow playwright. We got together, and we push each other. Awesome. And we push each other, and I pushed him. Is this the best you could tell this story? <laughs> and he went at it. And wow. my God, he told a story. Wow. Yes. I got to get to all the before you leave. You know that, right? All right. <laughs> Joe, Joe, listen, social media, what's upcoming? They can find me on Facebook, Joe McCray Production. They can find me on Instagram, Joe McCray Production. I have a website, um, JoeMcCrayProduction.com. And with the website, you can find, you can get my DVDs. You can find what my next adventure is going to be. I have a play coming out this Saturday in Newark, New Jersey. It's called Take Back What the Devil Stole. Yes. And then we'll be back again December the 8th with the um, Take Back What the Devil Stole in Patterson, New Jersey. Wow. And then in Mother's Day weekend, 2019, yes, yes, we yes. have um, my ninth, my 20 year anniversary of All That Glitters Ain't Gold. Wow! So we're gonna have a a play there. Awesome! It's gonna be a dinner and a show. 
Okay. For the Mother's Day weekend. Awesome. And it's my 20 year anniversary of that play. My first play that I've written was nominated for a Gospel Tiffany Award for that play as well. Awesome. Awesome. I got to get the autograph too, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anything else? I'm working on the film. Yes, we're going to the I'm film. I'm on the film. My first film is going to be based on my play that I'm doing now, Take Back What the Devil Stole. Listen, if you, if you need some extras, you know, let me know. I let me know. <laughs> Ricardo, Ricardo, how can they follow you? Uh, you can follow our um, Facebook page, Hurt People, Hurt People, Bitter and Broken, the series. That's on Facebook. Wow. You can follow us on Instagram. It's called at Hurt People Series. Um, you can find us on YouTube, Bitter and Broken Web Series, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Ricardo Richard. So R I C A R D O R I C H E R D. I yeah. love it. I love it. I need your autograph too before you leave too. Okay. Listen, I'm I'm so proud of these young men here. Uh, we got about what do you think? Maybe about six, seven minutes left. But I'm but I'm so grateful that you all took the time to come to be on our show. Thank and, you. Thank and you and much. I appreciate you all. I'm, I'm, I'm in uh, uh, awesome company of some great men, some great men. And I encourage everybody that's watching on YouTube and Facebook and also calling in and listening as well, uh, or also listening on Hamilton Radio app, uh, 3.0, Channel 2. I'm telling you, connect with these young men. They are going places. Their plays are amazing. Their, their, their TV series are amazing. I'm telling you, connect with them right now. I've always said to them, this show is about creating opportunity, taking advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. Listen, you may not have ever have done it. Look at Ricardo. Never, never did. Didn't go to school for this, but now got over 5,000 views on his first episode of his show. I'm telling you right there. Listen, it's about taking that step. Nominated, award-nominated plays. I'm, I'm talking about, and I'm telling you, I, I connect yourself with people that are going places. Every Monday night, this show. Listen, I want to give you all some, some final words. You know, again, somebody who says, listen, you know, your journey was amazing. Um, I want to start. What would you say is the first thing? Again, I want to get into whether it's acting or writing or directing. Either one. All three. Like, so what would be your advice? Again, everybody's coming in from different places, you know, in terms of their journey. But from your experience... What would you say would be the first thing that they should do? I'll start with Ricardo. I just, I would say just believe that it's possible. Wow. You know, you got to wow. believe in it. And also, when we talk about faith, you got to believe in the higher power. Like, you know, and I think just being persistent, working hard, and um, you just just try not to have fear. You know, just mm -hmm. go after it. Like, right. if you fall down 100 times, get back up that 101st time. <laughs> right. Like, just try. You're going to yes. get some no's, but just sometimes it's, the no's is okay. It's to encourage you, you know? So yeah. um, I'm currently right now about to start working on a film, possibly. I don't really know if it's going to happen or not, but what I got. It's going to happen. What I got. If it's meant to happen. Yes, if it's meant to happen. That's right. I know what's for me. It's yes. for me. So if it's meant to happen, what I realized was I was so afraid to do the audition. Mm. That kind of it kind of fell in my lap, so I kind of felt like I was so scared to do it. Where I was just like, "All right, God, like let me just you know do it," and then I had got it. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't, the production don't go fully through. It what it showed me was to um to take risks, wow. to not have fear, mm. and to try. Wow, you know? I Get love back it. up. I love so, it. I love it. Take yeah. risks. Take uh, listen every week. Take that step, Ruben. Take that step. We about to go to another big place. I'm with Ruben. Listen, I'm telling you, take that step. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. He's, he's not lying. <laughs> it's happening. Deshaun, tell me, what, 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 again, somebody, what would be the, first, the, the one thing that you would tell us? I don't know. I've never done this, but I want to start. What would you say? Be serious about it. Be committed to it. Mm -hmm. And invest in your work. Wow. Um, always give your work the best opportunity, mm -hmm. uh, whether you – Whatever you're aspiring to, whether it's acting, directing, playwriting, producing, uh, just be committed to it and, and keep the integrity of your work. Yeah. You don't have to compromise. I don't care what the industry says. Wow, you wow. don't have to compromise. Wow. Keep the integrity of yourself. I love that. I love that. Thank you, sir. Joe? I would say seek God and trust God. If mm. you don't believe God for it, don't ask God for it. Wow. Because to much is given, wow. much is required. Amen. Listen, hey, hey, how much time we got left, Ruben? Got about four minutes. Four minutes. Listen, everybody, I'm telling you right now, amazing insight from this panel. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to bring them back another time because I'm telling you, the whole hour, it's, it, it goes by so fast. But I'm yes. honored tonight 
I'm going to have them, but I'm telling you, every Monday night, I need you to follow us. Listen, we're going to be here to encourage you, to uplift you, to tell you, listen, you don't have to do this by yourself. And I've offered myself, I, listen, I, email me. I'm inspired, you know, at, you know, Troy at gmail.com. Email me. You can text me, you can call me on Facebook, send me a message. I'm all, I said every week, every blessing that I've been blessed with, I'm going to bless somebody else with. That's been my motto. Every blessing. Why? Because it didn't come by myself. I thank God for all the blessings, every door that he's opened. But what I love about what all of us said, and Ricardo, you said something, not, lie, not allowing fear to hold you back. And I've said this before. Listen, I had a speech problem as a child, couldn't hardly talk at all. I mean, couldn't talk at all. But I'm telling you, now I got my own show. I'm telling you, all things are possible. Amen. All things are possible. I, I stutter really badly. No, yeah. I, I, I stutter. Never knew. And that's what got me into writing is that if wow. I couldn't talk, I would just read and write. Yeah, yes. And somehow I, I, I'm wow. able to talk now, but I can, <laughs> I can stop if I get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Listen, but I'm telling you, all, we are all examples. Exactly. Every one of us are examples that dreams do come true. But you got to take that step. You got to get up and say, I want something greater than where I'm at right now. You got to tell yourself this. I love what every, listen, you got to believe. You got to. You got to believe. You got to. And, 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 and you got to know, listen, if you fall down, do what? Get, get back, back up. up. Get back up again. Everybody started, listen, Ruben started somewhere. Oprah started somewhere. True. Tyler started somewhere. That's true. Everybody did. But all I'm telling you is, if this is your purpose and your destiny, just keep on the journey. So we encourage you. How much time we got left, Ruben? Two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, so I'm excited about this show. Listen, uh, every Monday night, we are here in Hamilton, Robbinsville, New Jersey sharing an encouraging word. I thank you, Ricardo. There, there's, there's some greater things that's, that's coming in your life. I'm telling you right now. Thank there's you. some greater things that's happening in your life, things that you don't even see right now. And I'm going to tell you why, because see, I didn't even see this. Wow. But I kept moving. Amen. When the opportunity came to be interviewed, I came. It didn't say I wasn't available, wasn't, wasn't, or I never did it before. I moved into the space. That opened up for me. Deshaun, listen, man, I, I, I'm telling you, I, honestly, your work is on par with Shakespeare, and that, and I don't say that with any equivocation. Love your 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 work in terms of the integrity, the intelligence, the way you do it, how you present it. It's amazing. So I listen, man, no limit. Joe, <laughs> what can I say, man, man, you you your your the work that you do, the things that you have done. It's been amazing, phenomenal. And I don't know how you act, direct, and write all together at the same time. You a triple threat, wow. about to be a quadruple threat wow. with your own production company, yes. building, filming, I'm telling you. So there is no limit. And I love what you said. When you put God first, you put God, I'm telling you, if God be for you, who can be against you. it don't matter who is against you. Right. So, I, so I, I applaud you. I thank you so much. How are we doing, Ruben? Because I don't want to go over one minute. So thank you all so much. Thank you. I'm honored us. that you came on our show. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. And you represent more than you think. To see you here, for everybody to see you all here, three young men doing great things in, in different industries. But I'm telling you, directing, you can do it too. So I'm encouraging everybody right now. Listen, don't ever give up on your dreams. This is Troy Alexander. I'm excited because greater... Is if I'm not even, I don't even know what's going to happen next in my life, but I know something great about to take place. Because <laughs> it's expectation and believing. Yes. Ruben, give me a signal when I got about 30 seconds. <laughs> give me a signal. So listen, every Monday night, Inspiration with Troy Alexander, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We got an amazing guest next week. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss. As a matter of fact, I just connected with it this past week. I'm telling you, doors open. I'm telling you, it, be inspired, be encouraged. Dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. This is Troy Alexander, Inspiration with Troy Alexander on Hamilton Radio. Have a great night. Thank you, sir.